Hello everyone. Welcome to 2016. I'm doing this video because we are going to really hit phase three pretty hard. And whereas in previous phases we utilized online surveys and kind of kept some cool um, charting and statistics for patterns and correlations of information, phase three is a little different because when you're talking about dreams, it's extremely subjective. So it's important to know you. It's important to know who you are and how your intuition grows and how you interpret that information and just how you use intuition at all. And dreams can be difficult because some people, they don't have a plan. They don't remember their dreams. They swear they're not having them. And so what this phase is going to do from the very beginning is we are going to start off with a little mindfulness a little affirmation, affirmation, and putting into the momentum the beginning of your dream work. So in phase three, there will be surveys towards the end talking about uh, how you felt about the dreams and the dream process, but from right now, this is our starting point. So I know last year <laughs> we kind of left with some open-ended what do you think about dreams? How do you feel about dreams? Do you have prophetic dreams or precognitive dreams? Do you have symbolic dreams? Well, I do have some radio shows on dreams and I'm sending those to you in an email. You can listen in your own time. And I'm also sending you my notes or my outlines on dreams when I do dream workshops. A lot of times when I do lectures or speaking engagements on dreams, people are asking one question always. And it's always, what do my dreams mean? And I don't always give the answer people want to hear because I'm of the belief that that's pretty subjective to you. So all about dreaming is all about you and your unconscious and what it is that your mind is trying to tell you. So not only are we going to talk about kind of the dream definition, the scientific study of dreams, and sorry, those are my kids, uh, but also some of my um, favorite work by uh, Freud, but also Dr. Robert, uh, as I call him in my notes. And he kind of started dream work in the late 1800s came about with some pretty interesting information. And um, so yeah, we talk about uh, Dr. Hall as well and some of the more latter um, <laughs> dream work and uh, everything from some uh, scientific experiments done in the 1940s to present day. And we link them to anxiety, we link them to reoccurring dreams, dream facts as far as do you dream in color, do you dream in black and white, do you dream in sound, um, what are your most common anchors, what are your most common symbols, and also how to just remember your dreams. And that process is, of course, probably the, uh, the most important part. So if you right now are not remembering your dreams at all, um, one of my recommendations would be, if you're not on any medication, because medication can kind of interfere with that, um, one of the natural uh, kind of calming herbs that people will utilize um, is chamomile tea or any of the teas that you see kind of in Whole Foods or in the markets. I think even Target carries them. But you can get uh, calming teas, lavender teas, chamomile teas. You preferably want to do low to no caffeine. I like a rooibos tea sometimes. Um, but find your way of relaxing. And then before you go to bed, as silly and cliche as it might sound, you actually say, universe, God, Jesus, whoever it is that you talk to, for me it might be George Carlin in the sky, I say, universe, I want to remember my dreams tonight. Give me specific, clear, relative, important messages and allow me to remember those messages when I awake. Thank you. And I keep a notepad next to my bed or your phone on a quick recording app. Uh, most phones have them automatically now. I kind of like pen and paper though I'm old fashioned. And another important thing is when you wake up, if you wake up in the middle of the night, when you wake up in the morning, don't just get out of bed and go. Lay in the same position that you woke up in. Sometimes we have that sense memory where as long as we're not moving, we actually will remember things or recall or have retrieval uh, much better. So don't move. Wake up. 
and just think. Sometimes things are triggered to us that gestalt psychology and how we uh, store our information. Sometimes our recall is visual, sometimes it's audio, sometimes it's kinesthetic. Usually it's pretty parallel to our learning channel. If you're a touchy-feely person, sometimes I will wear a uh, rubber band around my wrist or uh, a ring that I will uh, think uh, like a totem. Um, if you are more of an audio person, then you say recall my dreams. What did I dream about last night? Or you can listen to audio messages before you go to bed and then play those again uh, sometime throughout the day that you have a moment to relax and meditate and that will help you recall. If you're more of a visual person then just lay there and look at the back of your eyelids and think, what did I see? What visions did I get? What did my dreams look like? Putting it into action, putting it out there, just asking uh, it's just like prayer or mantra, uh, singing a hymn. Uh, it, there really is power to that. So you can try uh, supplements to help you sleep if you struggle with sleep. I really prefer melatonin, no more than 2 milligrams. Uh, again, I'm not a doctor, so talk to your physician. Um, but there's a ton of homeopathic remedies. There's uh, all sorts of little tricks of the trade, and we'll talk more about those in Phase 3. But first, it's all about uh, looking over these notes, uh, listening to the radio show I've attached for you, and then give me your feedback. Let me know now at the beginning of the phase how you feel about your dreams. Are you remembering your dreams? Are your dreams prophetic or precognitive? How often do you experience deja vu? Do you think that's associated to your dreams? Just talk to me. Open-ended, use this opportunity to create the conversation about you and your dreams as we delve further into phase three of the Psychic Student Research Program. Talk to you soon.